In this video, we will show you several different techniques on how to create plan drawings in the Steel Auto Drafter. The first technique we're going to show you is how to manually draw a floor plan. To draw one floor plan at a time, I'm going to identify a member that is already drawn on that plan. Here I've selected one of my first floor concrete beams. I'm going to right click and tell the program I want to draw a plan at that level. So draw plan at y equals zero. In the draw settings dialog, I can select the scale I want to draw the plan at, and I'm going to draw a full section of the building. Then I'm going to select this first icon to draw. Now upon selecting that option, I'm going to immediately be pushed into the drawing area of the Steel Auto Drafter. From here, I can view the plan on screen and I can also save it as a DXF. To save as a DXF, we're going to click the Save button and you can see we can save this particular drawing in DXF format. Now since I use the draw command, um, this plan is only going to be available while I'm in the Steel Auto Drafter for this session. If I were to exit out of the Steel Auto Drafter or even exit out of STAD Pro, this particular plan won't be available the next time I enter the Steel Auto Drafter mode. Now if I would like to save this plan so that I can see it the next time I invoke the Steel Auto Drafter, I'm going to want to add it to my drawing list. So let's show you how to do that. So to do that, to add something to the drawing list, we're going to follow the same exact procedure we just did. I'm going to right click on a member on that particular level. I'm going to say draw plan. And this time, instead of clicking on the draw icon, I'm going to say add to drawing list. And here you can say, see, I've added a plan at y equals zero. Now, if I want to see what this plan looks like, I'm going to come down here at the bottom of this dialog and tell it to draw a plan. Now that this plan has been added to the drawing list, if I exited out of the Steel Auto Drafter and came back in, um, this plan would still be saved to the drawing list and I could see any changes that I've made to it. Now, in addition to creating plans manually, I can also generate plans and add them to the drawing list in one step of the program. So let's go back to the layout area and this time with the drawing list still active, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it I want to generate a plan at every level of the structure automatically for me. Now before I do this process, it's going to be important that I set up my vertical grids uh, for my y-axis appropriately so that it can generate a drawing at that particular level. Now if you don't see your drawing list or groups, you can tell the program you want to view your drawing list and it should collapse over into this pane over here if you don't see it. So now I'm going to tell the program I want to create some plan drawings. I'm going to select my scale and I'm going to tell it all grids. Again, I've already set up the levels of my grids through the grid manager. So it should be able to generate a plan at every level of the floor, every level or floor of the building structure that I've set up. I'm going to tell it to draw as full sections. And then I'm going to tell it I can either draw same idea as what we had just shown you, or I can add it to the drawing list. So I'm going to go ahead and add it to the drawing list. It's letting me know that a plan at y equals zero is already created, so it's not going to recreate that. And so here you can see very quickly I was able to create a floor plan at each level of the structure, and these correspond with those y grid locations I already told the program. Now if I want to see these drawings in the drawing tab, I can just click on the draw button at the bottom of that dialog, and you can see that my drawing one still there, and now I have a plan at my second floor elevation, I have my drawing at my third floor elevation, and also my roof, which is my low roof plan for this particular structure. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.